true story. This is probably the first instance I've actually seen Jeff Ward outside of the buggy costume and cosmetics and stuff. What a good looking dude. Damn. The one piece of weights, a treasure untold. Boundless possibilities, stories unfold. Knocks it dodge cheers as Luffy sets sail. Into the unknown where legends prevail. The grand line calls a place of wonder. Adventure awaits lightning and thunder. I am not it down. Hey everyone, how's it going? Oxidar here and welcome to our first look at the set tour of One Piece live action season two courtesy of netflix geek week before we check out this video i wanted to give a little bit of a recap about my experience with the one piece live action as well as one piece in general because that's where my one piece journey started so let me take you back to the summer of 2023 i work at a school and in that school year the student that i worked with was cerebral palsy for eight years had passed away in the middle of the school year of his senior year and i was absolutely devastated and i remember sitting there just scrolling through youtube one night and i came across this teaser trailer for the one piece live action and initially i thought this is probably one of those fake things where they take compilations of different movies and scenes and they put it together to show what a one piece live action could be but then i saw it was from the official netflix channel and I was like, no way. You know, instantly the first thing that came in, into my mind is like the Netflix adaptation meme. I didn't know anything about One Piece, even though I had taught English in Japan for four years and I saw the iconography and I saw all the characters pretty much all over the place when I was living in Japan. I wasn't much of an otaku, so I didn't really watch very much anime at the time. I'm still very new to kind of taking in anime and its stories. And it was in that moment when I decided to give that teaser trailer a chance. The soft piano music starts, Luffy's narration, and the first time I'm hearing the character talk about their dreams and things that are important to them and the promise of thrilling adventure. By the end of it, I realized that's what I needed. I needed an adventure. I needed a, a way to escape. And with every release of a trailer, my wanderlust for a whole new world just grew and grew and grew. And finally, with the final trailer, I did a reaction to it because I wanted everybody to know how excited I was, even though the video was only going to go live a few hours before the show became available to everybody on Netflix. And by the end of it, with tears streaming down my face, I realized I, I needed to tell people how I felt about it, so I made a review for it. And all of this is kind of detailed in a playlist of my One Piece journey that you can check out, so you can see these moments for yourself. But suffice to say, it did its job. I have in my living room the first manga box set and I'm looking forward to getting to the second. I have started the One Piece anime reaction journey and after this video I will be going on to the Drum Island arc. According to the One Piece Netflix Instagram, Ichiroda put out a letter saying that season 2 will be comprised all the way through the Drum Island arc so I'm so excited to finally be hitting the point where I can go into season 2 having the knowledge of experiencing the anime and also reading through it within the manga as well which will be such a very different viewing experience than season one i also think i'll do a retrospective reaction of season one at some point that'll be up on the channel hopefully before season two comes out so i can kind of just detail how i was feeling especially along you know such an emotional uh, connection that i created with one piece as a result of the live action suffice to say the whole reason i say this is i'm such a big fan of the live action it was my first foray into one piece and how i fell in love with this world and universe and i'm so looking forward to seeing how they adapt and how they interpret uh season two going forward so without any further ado let's get to what we came here for which is checking out the set tour of one piece live action season two ah <laughs> uh, buggy oh hi my name oh. is jeff ward True story, this is probably the first instance I've actually seen Jeff Ward outside of the buggy 
costume and cosmetics and stuff what a good looking dude damn he's absolutely one of my favorite characters i have a strong affinity for clowns and jesters at some point i'll probably disclose why that is but suffice to say absolutely love seeing him in Logtown his little buggy adventures, and then also his own little arc that he had within the anime. All, all you need to know is that buggy, I love, I love, I love buggy. I love buggy. I love buggy. I love buggy. And I'm here to show you around all the departments, the new sets, and new locations of One Piece Season 2. Man, Come let's on. go. Let's do it. Clowning around. I'm Clever. Karen Barnard. She's the costume designer, and of all this is her. Okay. Not just me, my team, too. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair How play to you. Wardrobe, would you say is in here? At least a thousand. These are some of our costumes. Hold on. Hold. Oh, I guess it's right there too. Is it just me or does the costuming for Buggy look even more improved from what we saw in season one? And maybe it's just like the the overall like more general lighting that could be some of it that we're seeing too. But man, ah, uh, it looks so good to see to see these things again that we've been working on for this season. Wait, we're not allowed to see any of this. <laughs> so I think people are going to be really excited to see all of the different looks beyond just oh, the wow. classic ones that they wear. Oh, man. Even the villains that are wearing the same costumes, they're probably pretty cool still, too. You can't mess with perfection. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite people on One Piece, Miss Amanda Ross McDonald. Amanda and her department are the reason that Buggy and everybody looks amazing. Wow. This is all kinds of cool stuff that I'm sure so cool. you can see right I now. Love it. <laughs> um, one of the things that I think is so cool about having this opportunity and this glimpse to see the more behind the scenes elements, especially with regards to the production crew who brings it to life, is regardless of how you felt about the live action, it was very clear that there was a lot of love and craftsmanship and passion put into the project. And I absolutely adore the fact that Netflix is taking the time to highlight some of the people who help bring this production to life and make it happen. It's really endearing. So uh, hats off to Netflix for doing this. I'm not going to take my hat off. Uh, my hairline is unfortunate. But uh, just know that, metaphorically speaking, my hat is off. Here we are in the props department with Eckbard Kruger, our props master. Very cool, All right. Graham. Do you take this to work now? Oh, I own this vehicle. <laughs> 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 I, I love his sarcasm. Funny. It's so good. Prop. You have the big one around, or is that just? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is Usopp's sniper goggles. Pretty oh, and these wow. Are based off Oda's drawings, a very specific to One Piece. For those yes. who are wondering, this stuff is very. Fragile. Don't mess around with it. Don't even look at it. <laughs> I love that it's labeled that too. Tom Hannum. Is this the actual weapon shop that we're going to see in Logstown? Right, because I, I think right behind him is the barrel of swords, isn't it? Okay, maybe this is a good time to talk about it. And I, I'll definitely go into much further detail uh, when I do my retrospective reaction for season one. Since I didn't react to it, I, I did a review for it. But... One of the things that just absolutely floored me with it is the the realia, right? Like not the green screen, not the fake digital stuff, although they used it, but they used it to kind of accentuate the actual physical props and designs and sets and things like that. So to feel like we're just actually in a weapon shop and to see the the lighting and where this is going to take place and what that means and particularly what that means for Zoro in that moment is oh man i got chills i can't i can't wait to experience lockdown oh my gosh uh, it, it, anyway suffice to say i love the craftsmanship that has gone into the live action because you can see so much love and attention to detail like like he was saying with the props master uh it, pulling Ichiro Oda's illustrations and, and things and bringing those to life. And that's kind of what I was talking about earlier. It's so fantastic. I can't really praise it enough. And that's ultimately what I set out to do in my One Piece journey is just show the gratitude and appreciation I have for a show that so deeply affected me on that profound level. Max Gottlieb, the other production designer on One Piece. Wow. Yeah. Crazy arm store. Is that where we are? Yeah, it is. Zoro enters to resupply and stock up. The three shops next to the arm store are exactly from the manga. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
and it fits the character Crocus. The interesting thing is the Grum Kingdom is eternal winter. Doing winter here is quite a challenge because... There's no snow here? There's no snow. I think that was a pretty amazing wow. tour and inside look at One Piece Season 2. Now I'll see you all in 20... <laughs> all right, well, I didn't know. Just bleep it then. Well, don't yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Incredible. Oh, thank you, Netflix, for that. I knew that with production starting um, just, a, just a handful of months ago, right, that there probably wasn't going to be anything from the show being able to be shown. Thank you, Alarm. It is 5 a.m. However, being able to see even just some of the props, some of the pre-production elements that are coming to the foray, and for me, having a lot of this experience really fresh in my mind is incredibly exciting, especially seeing, okay, I caught it the weapon shop, but you know, the arms, the arm shop, I guess. <laughs> oh my gosh. I seeing Usopp's goggles and how he gets those. I wonder if we're going to actually see daddy or if they're going to do something a little different with that. Maybe he just goes in and buys them. I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's like a different separate timeline and universe. Um, they might find different and creative solutions for how they get these things. I don't know. I'm looking forward to finding out, though, and I hope you are, too. That's all for today. I'll see you in the next one. This is Noxadar out. I hope you're excited for season two. I am.